Alrighty then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Magic 89.9 Studios, AXN host. Very great guy. Yes. Very kind. Mm -hmm. Can't even look at him properly. Yeah, I can't. I can't. You, I can't. you, you notice that? You notice that? Are you conscious that I he's good looking like that? And then good looking and then he sounds amazing too. <laughs> Oh, this I, can, I can I can I can hear him talk all day. Yeah, are you stuttering? A little, a little. Am I? A little. Oh my god. A Is little. this just gonna be a one-on-one -on -one interview? Maybe. No. Are we the same? Yeah. <laughs> no, I I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome AXN host Ollie Pettigrew to the show. Hello. Hello. How you doing, man? Hello. I'm doing good. Uh, it's your first time here uh, at the station. Fantastic. Thank you very much for dropping hey, by. I like your music. I was grooving just then. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Good tracks. Man. Uh, yeah. Off air, of course, Ollie and us were talking about mm. how he likes it here in the Philippines so much. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Philippines. How long have you been? Uh, about a week? Yeah, just over a week. Um, I was down in, uh, I was in Jakarta right before this. I was mm -hmm. watching some MMA fights and then I flew mm -hmm. in and then it was, uh, you probably know Mark Nelson's birthday, mm -hmm. and we went down. And there was like 25 of us went down to Boracay and mm -hmm. just partied our butts off for like four or five days. And then uh, I thought, well, stick around. I'm in town. Do a little bit of work. Get around. See some people. So, you know, and like, it's just I love the Philippines, and I love how everyone is just so kind and generous, and with their just you know, they just come up to you and they're so nice. Thank you so much. You know, I've, I've known about uh, a lot of international artists and mm -hmm. a lot of international acts that have come to the Philippines and um, just fell in love with the place and they just never left. Yeah. Fell in love with the people too. Fell in love mm -hmm. with the people too. Probably married a couple of mm -hmm. people. Yeah. Nice. And so on and so forth. But do you have any intentions of actually getting a place here? Uh, you know, I was yeah. even I was even looking because all my friends live in this housing estate, mm -hmm. and uh, actually my best friend he just he just bought another property, mm -hmm. and to move into the same street as everybody else. For me, it's like I I think I'm just everyone asks where I'm from. You know what I mean? And it's like because I don't really identify myself as English because I was born in Hong Kong. My father was born in India. And my grandfather was oh, Persian. Wow. We're all international, so I just kind of tell people I'm from. I'm from Earth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Why put myself in a box? So for me, it's like, so I'm not really going to base anywhere. I'm just going to, so my base is going to become Asia. It's going to be, so mm -hmm. like, you'll find that I'll be coming into Manila quite a lot and Singapore. And I think we're going to try and set up Hong Kong as well and try and sort of live, live on a plane, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. So any shows that you're excited about, uh, any future projects uh, that you want to talk about? I wish there was. I mean, that wonderful, like, terrifying moment for all television mm -hmm. hosts where you're not sure where the next job's coming from. Because mm -hmm. Cash Gab, we wrapped that. Um, Sony Lifestyle Season 5 wrapped that. Mm -hmm. uh, Lonely Planet Six Degrees wrapped that. And they're all just on air. You know, they're airing. Mm -hmm. So the TV is there. And I have to just wait wait for the big man to press the button and go, Yes, we want Season 2. And yes, we want Season oh. 6. Well, I'm sure that the Season 2 is going to come. We um, hope so. Yeah. The, the, in the Philippines, there's been a massive response mm -hmm. to, to Cash Cat. And it's like, but everywhere I've gone, like my recognition factor has shot up. I do all this other TV, but Cash Cat has just, it's, people find it easy and fun to watch. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, that's what you want TV to be, you know what I mean? Tune in and have a bit of a laugh. It's such a simple concept. Well, let's go to work. Let's get you some more viewers. Why don't you invite everybody that's uh, tuned in. If you have not catched, uh, if you have not caught any of our shows yet, please, please do invite them. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's Cash Cab Asia, mm -hmm. which is on AXN. It's going to be going for another three or four months. We shot a lot of episodes. I think in the Philippines, I think you guys get on Tuesday nights, but it shows all the time. If you're watching AXN, we are inflicting it upon you a lot. Uh, in the Philippines, got a bit of a following for EPAD. I do this ridiculous show called EPAD on Max um, on Cinemax, which comes on every Friday night. Uh, and now I've got my best friend as a co-host. He's a, you know, so we, we brought him on. We just have a laugh. We're slagging off all the movies for, for 15 minutes. It's honestly, it's the most fun you can have on television. Uh, then they're probably re-showing Sony Lifestyle and AXN Beyond, and you can catch Lonely Planet Six Degrees on TLC. If you're watching Food Network, there's interstitials that I'm on there. I just, you know, watch by cable, and you're probably gonna find me. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, is there anything Busy that you man. would like to add into this interview? Because I, you just speak to yourself. I can just listen to it. I'm just listening, appreciating. You're staring him down. She's, just rub yeah, she's rubbing my thigh <laughs> on the desk. <laughs> watch the love and you stream. You can see the action over there. <laughs> <laughs> thigh, the thigh rubbing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 229, they can find you online. Oh, uh, if you're on Twitter, you can follow him and get updates about second seasons, third seasons, mm -hmm. fourth seasons, probably a seven or eighth. 
Make so I think so. <laughs> make that money. Busy so guy. Make, make more trips to the Philippines. Absolutely. Uh, it's Ollie underscore Pettigrew. It's yeah. uh, P E T T I G R E. W, w which you can follow on Twitter. No one used to be able to spell my name, but then it became a Harry Potter thing. Peter Pettigrew is a character from Harry Potter, so suddenly everyone knows how to spell my second name. That's fantastic. Because <laughs> so like, everyone's like, P-E-T-I-G-R-U-E? No. <laughs> but I'm so unoriginal with my Twitter name. Ollie underscore Pettigrew. Oh, edgy. You know what I mean? Oh, you mean that dude from Potter? <laughs> <laughs>